Here's the guide for factoring polynomials. We need to start with the common monomial factoring. Then whatever will be the result, we're going to categorize them as to whether the result is a binomial, trinomial, or multinomial. And we have specific processes under specific results. Then we end it. Let's start with this polynomial. We have x squared minus 13x plus 30, and we are tasked to factor this. This is a quadratic trinomial. We are going to use uh, two specific methods here, or I mean we can use two methods, but we are going to specify which of the two is more appropriate. The first method is to identify whether this is a perfect square trinomial, because if it is, then we can use the method of uh, factoring a perfect square trinomial to factor this. There are two conditions for that. Okay? And if these two conditions will not be met, then we are to proceed with the second process. Now let's say this is our first term and that is our third term. The first condition tells us that the first and the third terms must be perfect squares. Our first term, x squared, already met that, that said criteria. We have x squared is a perfect square of x. For our second term, 30 is not a perfect square of in any integer. So we can say that just for looking at this, this is not a perfect square. But if ever, just if ever, you would try to really say, what if it's like this? The square root of 30, and you take the square of it, it will result to 30. In short, 30 is still a perfect square of a radical expression square root of 30. Now, if we are going to push with that, I'm just going to show you for this video, if ever we consider that as a perfect square of square root of 30 and satisfying the first condition, let us proceed to the second condition. Again, the purpose for this is just to, to uh, illustrate uh, whether the second condition will still be met. So the second condition is this. The second term, the entire second term must be equal to twice the square root of the first and times the square root of the third. Now, even if we consider uh, 30 as a perfect square, if this is not true, then definitely we proceed with another method. So our second term is negative 13x. Is this equal with a question mark to this? 2 times uh, the, the square root of the first term is x. The square root of the third term is actually square root of 30. But when you try to use again square roots of any constant, you'll have plus minus. And let's multiply all of this. It's negative 13x. Is it equal to 2 times this? So we have plus minus 2 square root of 30x. So we have two possible results, but neither of them will give us negative 13x. This is the further proof that the second condition is not uh, satisfied. And of course, the given is no longer a perfect square trinomial. Okay? I'm just showing you this portion just for further discussions. Because you might think that 30, yes, it's good. 30 is a perfect square of a square of 30, but 30 is not a perfect square of any integer. So for this, let's use AC method or AC way. This is the method you will use if our trinomial is not a perfect square trinomial. AC means multiply A and C coefficients. You have A here for our first numerical coefficient of the first term times 30. So our AC is 30. Let's look for the factors of 30. Okay, 30 can be solved as 1 times 30. We could also use negative 1 and negative 30. We can also use 2 and 15. And we have negative 2 and uh, negative 15. 5 and 6, we also have negative 5 and negative 6, right? We still have one more pair. We have 3, I forgot to write 3, and 10, and negative 3, and negative 10. So I have eight pairs of factors that when multiplied to the corresponding partner will result to 30. AC way allows us to do this. Next step. Let's add all of them. When we add all of these pairs, a certain pair shall result to 
our B coefficient. B coefficient is the numerical coefficient of the second term minus 13. And it is this pair here. Okay. We have negative 3 plus negative 10 is negative 13. And when you add them, positive 30. We'll be using these coefficients now. If ever none of these eight will satisfy that condition for AC method, then our, fa our given a polynomial is non-factorable and we stick to that. But here, since we have those coefficients, we will be using them here because the factor of a quadratic trinomial uh, will be a pair of binomial expressions. So let's start with the square root of x as our first term, x, and x here as well. And we just simply place this uh, here. So we have x minus 3 and x minus 10 because we have negative 3 and negative 10 respectively. These are now the factors of x squared minus 13x plus 30. And you could also interchange x minus 10 and x minus 3 because multiplication is commutative. So we did this by AC way method because we are sure that it's no longer a perfect square trinomial because it, sa it doesn't satisfy the first and the second condition of a perfect square trinomial. The next factor we're looking for is for our next subscriber. Subscribe now!